Hello everybody, Nick over here at Scott and Dickie. We appreciate you stopping by for another one of our weekly tech videos. We're finally back after our short holiday break over the winter. And of course, we're starting off this year best we can with as many parts as we can get a hold of. We know parts availability is a big problem right now. One thing that we do have in stock that I really wanted to show off, mostly because I'm a sucker for CNC milled billet, but take a look at these LME VVT delete kits for the Gen 5 LT. This is actually some pretty trick stuff. If you've ever done or looked into a VVT delete on an LS, you know it's just as simple as changing one OEM cover for another OEM stock cover off like an LS3. You mix and match the right parts. Simple as that, right? Well, the Gen 5 LTs, they weren't blessed with that simplicity. They all come VVT. So if you wanted to get rid of it, like we've showed you in other videos, all you do is you lock out the cam phaser. Now that does work, works fine, works fine for a lot of high horsepower street engines actually. But as you start getting up in higher power, higher RPM, you actually do want to reduce some of that valve train inertia. You have a lot of weight on the front of that actuator. We actually wanted to do kind of a before and after of the weight of a VVT actuator versus the one that you use with this cover. Unfortunately, as many of you guys know with parts availability, we don't have any in stock. So maybe we'll be able to get that information before we load this video and put it up here so you can see kind of a before and after, maybe a weight in grams. But let me show you what all entails in this kit. Of course, gotta start out with the best. This beautiful CNC milled aluminum cover. I am a sucker for this kind of stuff. If you could match this with a set of valve covers, you can make a race engine also a show engine. So I'm a big fan of that, even though I know it's all about going fast, but for me, I'm also a sucker for how it looks. This actually is pretty trick is that it comes with everything you need to install it. It comes with the O-ring press in the back. This is actually kind of a nice feature I'm glad to see. If you've ever taken apart one of the new Gen 5 LTs, all of them, there is no gasket on the cover. They're RTV'd, which is fine if you take it off one time, but if you're racing, you know, you gotta get in these things once a season or so. You gotta constantly be tinkering on your stuff. Sometimes when high stress rain in, uh, race engine, you do have to be getting in there from time to time. RTVing this thing on and off and on and off and razor blade, it's just, it makes a mess. It's just extra stuff you gotta, you know, the goop you get on your fingers, you know, you wipe it on your face, your shirt. This is nice, nice C, like it's part of the CNC program, that little channel to press this little O-ring in there, get it all sealed up so it comes on and off without tearing. And of course, it also is like that on the old pan side, that's what this extra piece that they give you here is for. So. Pretty nice stuff. Also uses stock hardware. It is doweled to fit the block just like stock. Comes with a seal and of course can use the stock sensor as well as the oil control. Remember there's a little, little wire going to your oil pump that's kind of a pain. It is actually drilled and tapped for that harness as well in the hole there. So if you're not using that, plug it up. But if you are, it's great that it's there. This is how this works. This has been milled back to take up that difference in height with your normal LS style upper cam gear. That's right, that's a simple, it keeps it cheap. It's as simple as can be. It comes with a one bolt cam, comes with a pretty big 10.9 grade metric bolt. If you were using an aftermarket core with a three bolt cam, give us a call and see what we can do to get that figured out because you can also use this with the three bolt style cam gears, whether it be a timing chain set or an upper cam gear. Now, we appreciate you guys stopping by for another one of our weekly tech videos. We're so happy that we're back. We have many more coming this year. We apologize that some of the projects that we promised last year did not come to fruition. Just like some of you guys, you have projects where you have 90% of the parts setting aside and you can't get them finished. We're going through the same thing, so we feel your pain. As more parts start becoming available this year, we got a lot of really cool projects. We got more engines to dyno, more cars to build, and more stuff to show you guys, as well as more tech videos once a week. So please give us a like, subscribe, share, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all that kind of stuff so we can help out fellow hot rodders like you and me. And I'll see you guys next week for another video. Thanks for stopping by.